Now look, I know you guys have read that title, you done seen that thumbnail, and you know what we making. Today I'm getting ready to show you guys just how easy it is to make. Listen, it's a stuffed crust pizza, and guess what folks, we finna do it meat lover style. Let's get it. Okay, so look, I want you guys to come here and just take a look at these ingredients. It looks like a lot, but it's not. It's real simple, especially the way I break it up, right? Now, I want you to remember this. Don't forget the full ingredient list with all the measurements will be down in the description box below. Now, I want you to take a look at the supporting cast. Listen, if it's a meat lover's right, you got to have meat. So we got thick cut bacon, pepperoni, and then we got an Italian sausage right here, right? Now, we are gonna talk about the star. These people are supporting it. What's the title say? Stuffed crust. There you go right there. We got mozzarella, right? Super simple. Get them like this. I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's not gonna take no extra time, right? And then we got marinara sauce right here. This is mine. I already can these. I can them, you know, a couple of times out of the year, you know, and I use them for everything, right? This is my base. Works great on a pizza. With that being said, let's get it. Okay, today I'm gonna be using my gas-powered outdoor pizza oven made by Vivor. And you can look at it, listen, it's well built, it's built to last, and the price point is just right. Plus, listen, their slogan is, tough tools, pay less. Okay, look, so now we're gonna go ahead and get everything started, right? We're gonna start with the dough. Listen, this right here is gonna be key. You're gonna have to get yourself some type of thermometer, right? You gotta have that so you can get your temperature right. Listen, in order to use this yeast, right, it's gotta be between 110 and 115 degrees. Listen, I done met a bunch of people that say they make, they get all kind of stuff to rise using yeast and they don't even use this. I just tell them you lucky as I don't know what. Listen, I'm gonna tell you right now, 110 to 115. Now, let me heat up my water. Oh, and let me just tell you, you can use a microwave. Okay, I want you guys to come in here and take a look at this right here. You see that temperature? Remember, we wanna be in between 110 and 115. All right, so that's key. Now we just go ahead and take it put it in our mixer, in the bowl. Now we're gonna take our sugar, and then we're gonna put the yeast in here. In no particular order, right? So now I'll just turn it on. Give it a little mix like that, and we just let it go. Now we wanna see that it becomes, I guess in about five minutes, what we're gonna see is it's gonna get a little frothy on the top. Now look, when you got your temperature just right, you see it right there, it's happening in your eyes right now. Look, that's real time. That's when you know your yeast has been activated. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just add my olive oil, right? I'm gonna turn this on, and just let this move just a little bit, right? I like to start small. Now I'm gonna start adding my flour. When I add my flour, I'm only gonna use about, I'm gonna put in half in the very beginning, and then after that, we'll let that catch up, and then once it does, then I'll start adding some more a little bit at a time. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my salt. And now we're getting ready to start putting in, you know, our flour. Only wanna put in about half, you know, in the very beginning. Now I'll turn my mixer up and we'll let it mix. Okay, so look, I got myself a bowl, got me some non-stick spray. Look, you're gonna thank me for this one. So we just put a little bit in here because we don't want it to stick, right? Now, let's just go ahead, let this down, take this out like that. And look what we got here. Right? So I just fold it over a couple of times, you know, like this. Really, I just want to like seal it up. Now we're just going to put it, drop it in. Just like that, I'll put a little saran wrap over the top and then we're gonna let this rise. We want it to double in size. So you guys see what it looked like now? We'll look at it in like 10 minutes. All right, so look, now I'm gonna take this time while everything is, you know, rising, while my dough is rising, right? I'll just go ahead, you know, and cut down my bacon, right? If you guys notice anything different about my bacon, I have some thick cut bacon, you know, some beef bacon. This right here is fire, folks. Uh, I can't tell you enough. I put all the information down in the description box below. But I can tell you, I thought nothing would ever get me up off of that pork. But this right here, ooh wee. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my bacon in here. 
There's something about this beef bacon right here too. Just the way it smells. It almost smells like this hickory smoked. Or no, no, maple. That's what I'm smelling. I want you to see when I finish. Look, I don't cook these all the way where they're super crunchy because they go in there. I don't want to like overcook them, right? I just want to get them cooked through. It's really up to you how you do your texture, but you'll see. I just want you to pay attention to that. I want you guys to just notice the texture, right? Didn't take them all the way down. This is good. That way when we go inside the oven, you know, it can continue cooking however it's going to be. But I don't like mine to be like super crunchy, not on a pizza. Now, I want to tell you guys this. If you take a look at this and then, okay, so you know we're going to do an Italian sausage, right? Some might say, how come I didn't use regular pork? If you get a chance, you know what I mean, to uh, get yourself some of this Porter Road beef bacon, do yourself that. And then come back and let me know what you guys think about it. I tell you, in my opinion, I think this beef bacon, and I thought I would never, ever say that. I think this beef bacon tastes better than pork bacon. It's just like something about the process of how they made it and the seasonings, seasonings that they use. It's just, when I tell you over the top, I don't have nothing to say, nothing else about it. It just is what it is. One out of a hundred, I give it a hundred. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and get this Italian sausage going, right? Now, you guys know that I'm using uh, I'm using Italian sausage, right? So this right here is pork, and you know I use the beef bacon, right? For those of you guys that's just gonna, you know, stand away from the pork, you know, they don't do it, you know, you could just go ahead and use some kind of, you can use any kind of ground beef, you know, just season it up and get it, you know, just right to your taste. But for me, I'm gonna go ahead and go with this right here. Okay, look, so now we take the dough out, right? It went like a little bit longer than 10 minutes. It probably takes about 15, 20, but you saw I was prepping, you know, all of my sides, right? So you can see, boom, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just take it, and we're just gonna put a little flour here because we gotta have this on our work surface, right? This being, we don't want nothing to stick, right? So once we get this going, now we just plop this down, just like this, right? So now I'm just gonna go ahead, just work it. Just feel fluffy. Well, if it feel like that to you, then you're doing good. Get my rolling pin, put a little bit of this on here like this, right? Because we just want it to be truly non-stick surface. That's what we want to have, right? So now we just take this and we just start. You're going to have to put your, your weight on this one and just start working it, you know, back and forth, right? So I'm going to do it this way, you know what I mean? Just so you guys can see, right? Just like this. I kind of like do it like in a star pattern, and you'll see it start to spread. Now, I'm gonna show you guys a trick too, in just one second. A little trick, just go ahead and make a fist, right? And let the weight just kind of like, let it go around like this. This is the way I do it. I see other people do it another way, but I kind of like just let it stretch this way. I'm doing this until I get it thin enough so I can roll it some more. But once I start with that, that you know, with the rolling pin, on the second time, you'll see it become much easier, right? We just stretch it and it gets longer and longer. And then another thing is, when I tell you it's a trick, I look down, because I can see almost through it. When you first do it, you can't, but then when you start looking like this, when you get it thin, as it thins out, you can start seeing a little bit, you know, it becomes a little bit trans, you know, translucent or transparent. This is a great start right here, look at this. When you do it right, you see that, look. We, we nice and round like this. Now what I'm gonna do is just start rolling it out and pushing it toward the edge. Now, this is gonna be the size of my pizza, right? But we wanna go, we wanna be a little bit bigger than this right here. Reason being, cause don't forget, this is gonna be crust stuffed. Hey, all this is gonna make sense to you in just one second. You want it to be a little bit bigger, right? Cause we gonna stuff it. So once you put the, let me just show you what I'm talking about. Take some of the mozzarella. Once I take one of these and I roll it over, like that, it comes in. So once you do that, you want your end result to be this size. Your mozzarella, if you get it like I got it, it comes like this, I just break it, you know? It's okay, just break it. And then what we're gonna do is we just, you know what, let's do it like this. Let's just go ahead and get this to go completely around the edge, right? We just wanna build this all the way around. So once you have it like that, you can start on one end, kind of like just 
like this, right? And then what you want to do is you want to use your fingers to like just tuck it in, right? Just like this. Don't forget it's stretch, so it's okay. As you can see, I got it all, you know, tucked under, right? So look, then I just take my finger and I just mask this, you know, you just like seal it. That's all we're doing, right? You just want to go around the whole way, you know, around the whole edge. Reason being, you don't want none of your, your mozzarella to just come out right here. Now it's time to go ahead and add our sauce, right? Now remember, this is homemade. I'll put down in the description box below. You know, I'll give you guys a recipe for this. And I got a video, you know what I mean, that you can kind of like seeing it being built, right? So it should be overloading your sensories right now. And you know what? These are just so easy to make. Now you know why it's pizza joints everywhere. Just, hey, whatever you can think of, you can, you know, make a pizza out of, you know what I mean? It just starts with the dough, top it with what you want. As long as you guys got a, a good oven, then you're straight. We're gonna come with the cheese, right? Now just check me out with the cheese. Now you guys can put as much cheese on here as you would like, right? This is your pizza, you do it how you wanna do it. But for me, I like meat and cheese, right? So you'll see mine might be a little bit more heavier than some, but again, this right here really is determined by you. I'm gonna come with a little bit of this sausage, right? You guys can put pepperoni on here, however you want to do it. There really isn't no wrong way to do it. You do it how you want to do it, you know? But I'm gonna do it like this. Now don't forget folks, if you've been following me for a minute, you know I like to get down with that meat lovers on everything. So if you didn't know by now, especially if you knew, yes, I'm a meat and potato guy. Now I'm gonna come with a little pepperoni. And we're gonna come with a little bacon. And last but not least, y'all saw me save a little bit of this cheese back. You know what? Because we wanna go ahead and put this over here like this, just to tie it all in together. Now we wanna melt our butter. All right, so look, now what we're gonna do is, you see I have already melted my butter, right? I'm gonna go ahead and add my garlic salt. Just get this mixed up. If you run out or if it's not enough for you or whatever, just get you some more heated up, right? I'm gonna take my brush. Now look how big this brush is for what I'm doing, right? And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna brush this, right? Look, this is gonna help in the browning process and it's gonna give it that unbelievable taste too. I like to have a little bit left over, you know what I mean? And if it's not none left over, don't forget, we gotta put, you know, put some on in when it's done. You know what? That's when I start probably mixing it with the parsley, you know what I mean, just to give it that pop, right? Because after all, Presentation is everything. Okay, so look, now you see it. Now I'm getting ready to just put it in the inside. Okay, take a look at this. Oh yeah. You guys tell me what you think. That right there is right. And I could tell you by looking on the side right here, look at that right there. Oh yeah, you know, it's good. All right, so let me go ahead and cut it. We're going to get us a slice of this. I'm going to give you my assessment on what I think about, about this pizza oven. Okay, so look, I'm getting ready to cut this and check it out. They provide you with one of these too, this little pizza cutter. Hey, so I want you guys to come on in here and take a look. You know what I mean? Look at this right here. We, I probably shouldn't have done it like that, but hey, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, stuffed crust. Now for the taste test. Hey, I can tell you this, I love the, the way it browned on the outside. Hey, it's cooked just right. The bottom is done on the pizza. This, this pizza oven, hey, I'm a believer, folks. Hold on. Now I'm gonna go in. Look, if you want to look at the other pieces of the crust right now, I just ate it. You know what I mean? Just being, I don't know. But anyway, I can tell you this. I'm finna eat this though right here, folks.
I got the best job, man. Mmm. That right there is fire. Hey, check it out. This is a great video because it gave you a twofer, right? Hey, the twofer is, listen, this is a great recipe for you guys to create and make your pizza at home. You know what I mean? And this Vivor gas-powered outdoor pizza oven, listen, it got my vote. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, it's everything. You can put this outside. Listen, you can do something, you know, this summer, have everybody around it, you know what I mean, and just make pizzas. Hey, matter of fact, I'm going to give you a gym, folks. Hey, why don't you just have a pizza party? Bring them over, set up a couple of stations, let everybody make their own. This right here makes it quick, folks. Hey, with that being said, don't forget, click the link below, grab yourself one of these, get that ingredient list down there, and let's make some magic, folks. Hey, with that being said, let me just say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell everybody out here, listen, it's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? As usual, I'm out. Peace.